Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So this is the week, you know, the finale week for The Flash Season 5. In, you know, around four to five days from now, we will have the season finale for The Flash Season 5 hit our screens. And, you know, follow on from the cliffhanger we got in episode 21 that not only tied certain things together from across the entire season, but also left us confused as to what exactly was going to go down in the season finale the week after. But in this video, we will be going over some more promo material for the finale that wasn't featured in the trailer for the finale. Actually, I think most of the stuff wasn't featured in the trailer, which is good, gives us more to talk about. But obviously the title for the finale is Legacy, which will tie into not just Barry and Nora, but also Cicada, as we heard her talk about the legacy of the character or mantle of Cicada in the last episode, and it will also tie into Reverse Flash. Legacy was the major theme for this season, so it does feel very fitting that it is the title for the finale as well. But obviously, if you're going to enjoy the video guys and you are excited for the finale, be sure to drop a like on it to show your support, and also let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we talk about in this video and your various theories and predictions and all of that. So um, yeah, we are going to go over this new promo stuff right now, this of course being the promo images for the episode, and we start off by seeing Nora and Barry in the Speed Lab area in Star Labs. You will note that Nora is wearing the same stuff from last episode. Actually, I think Barry has the same stuff on as, stuff on as well, um, even though he was, you know, last seen in the previous episode in his flash suit. Anyway, so they are in the same clothes as, well, we pick up right where we left off at the end of last episode, where, where uh, like, Ralph was trying to stop Barry from, you know, shooting Cicada's dagger with the mirror gun. Obviously, we were cut off just as that was about to go down, so we have no idea, like, what is exactly going to go down there. But as we move on to the next photo, we can see Cicada with her dagger. It's glowing, so it has its power back. But she is also in the Speed Force trap that was reintroduced last episode after being gone since, I think, Season 1 was the last time we saw it. Now, going by this, you would have to think that maybe Ralph grabs the dagger from safety or something and stops it being shot by the mirror gun. We'll have to wait and see, but that seems like it will be the most likely thing to go down unless Barry realizes Ralph is saying no and quickly speeds off and catches the dagger. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, as I was saying, when we see Cicada in that promo image, she not only has her dagger, and that dagger being alive and active, but she's also in the Speed Force trap. Now, last episode, we saw Nora stand within the Speed Force trap in order to, like, protect the others from the red lightning that was coming off her when she was, you know, going into Cicada's mind and channeling those emotions from Cicada. So with Cicada in the Speed Force trap in this episode, there are a few options as to why they are actually doing this. Obviously, it could just be to contain her and question her and all of that, but there is a possibility that they could use the Speed Force trap to, like, maybe try and draw and, like, withdraw the power and energy out of the dagger. You know, maybe rework the trap so it does something along those lines. Obviously, it is hard to tell from just these primer images, but we can see that, it, you know, that it is glowing like normal at this point in the episode of the primer image. And then at, at a few points in the trailer for the episode, the dagger is, like, not glowing. It's just a, you know, a lethal lightning bolt shaped piece of metal. But if you have any idea, theories, or predictions on what Team Flash's goal is for this whole scenario, let me know in the comments. But in the next set of promo images, we do see the remainder of Team Flash outside of the two speedsters, as well as Caitlyn. And we will get to where those three characters most likely are at this point soon. But we see Cisco, Iris, Sherlock, and your boy Ralph looking at Cicada in the Speed Force trap, with Cisco looking to be like setting up the trap to go off or something along those lines, possibly doing one of the things we were just talking about. But, you know, Cicada's in the Speed Force trap, that will contain her for sure. Team Flash have absolutely nothing to worry about. Right? Right? Well, going by the looks of Sherlock and Ralph in this primary image here, it looks like something went wrong. And that something is that Cicada has most likely escaped from the Speed Force trap. Now, is Cicada just going to run away, or is she going to try and attack this part of Team Flash that is still at Star Labs? Well, the only person here who isn't in a later scene, which will most likely be the final, like, proper scene of the episode, is that of Sherlock. So, it is a chance that he might die here, and I hope he doesn't. They set up, like, a happy ending for him and Renee Adler in the last episode, and I would like to think he goes on to have that happy ending. So, there's no need to kill Sherlock here, here off, you know, at this point. I think it's sort of pointless. But as I was saying, all of Team Flash was in that room outside of the speedsters of Barry and Nora, as well as Caitlin, but where the hell are they? Well, in the trailer for this finale episode, you would have noticed we do spend a decent amount of time in the cabin that Cicada has been keeping her younger self in while she has been comatose. Well, I think the reason for that is that this is where the fun art, like the final showdown with Cicada will, you know, possibly take place. I do think that Nora, Barry, and Caitlin will have gone here to try and retrieve the younger Grace and deal with her illness. Maybe they figured out how to give her the metahuman cure without killing her. 
something along those lines. But going from what we see in the trailer, Sakata reaches a boiling point and goes for the kill with Nora. Now this is the point in which we see that her dagger has no power flowing through it and it's just like a piece of metal. But I think Killer Frost might be the one to dispose Cicada of the dagger. As I said in my trailer breakdown, it would be pretty cool if she freezes Cicada's hand off or something like that. But I would expect something like that to happen. The only downside of this being the way things play out is that Barry, once again, will have not defeated the big bad for the season. Someone else will have done so. But I mean, if it's been a meme for four seasons, you may as well keep the hot streak going. But, you know, if we are predicting correctly and this encounter in the cabin is the final showdown between our heroes and the big bad for this season, that being Cicada, what happens next? As it seems that this might only take up maybe two-thirds of the episode, roughly. Well, as I'm sure most of you know, we have another showdown with another villain. But the motive of that showdown from the villain's side is a bit up in the air. But just a heads up, uh, we will talk some spoilery things about the ending of this finale soon, but I will give you another heads up when we get to all of that. Just thought I'd give you like an early warning now. But as we can see, we have various shots of members of Team Flash, or in some cases, like shots of all of Team Flash lining up, and I guess Iris with a gun as well. As I mentioned earlier, there's no sign of Sherlock. Is this a sign he died? A sign he went back to, uh, back to his Earth? Or is this just because they didn't want to have Tom Kavanagh play two characters in a fairly lengthy scene? Most likely the last option there, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out when this episode airs. But of course, they are facing off against your boy who has been stuck in Iron Heights prison for the past 15 years with a, you know, odd-shaped piece of metal stuck to him. That, of course, being Eobard Thorne, aka the Reverse Flash. But as we know from not only the end of last episode, but also the trailer for this finale episode, we will be seeing Eobard go through the lead-up to his execution, but going by these primer images... Obviously, the dagger is destroyed in time and he isn't killed. Now, when you think about it logically, the potential scene that will occur in this episode where Eobard is about to be executed and just before that happens, the dagger disappears, that doesn't really make sense. What should happen is that, well, Eobard is never associated with that dagger and possibly, depending on how he was captured, is never imprisoned in Iron Heights. Now, that could be the case due to the fact that Eobard in the primary images looks like the one we dealt with back in Season 1, looking straight up like Tom Kavanagh. There's no, like, OG Eobard hair peeking through. But they could make it that due to being in prison for 15 years, the real-looking Eobard, you know, side of the character started to come out again, you know, starting with the hair. But once he is out, he goes back to fully looking like the Welzabard from Season 1. It's a bit confusing, if not really confusing, but I'm guessing something like that will be what happens. But obviously, the dagger would be muting Eobard's powers, and not only in the trailer, but also the primary images, we can see little bits of the time sphere destroyed and, like, scattered all over the floor. Now, this will most likely be how Eobard travels back. The only issue is that Sakata used the time sphere to get back, uh, as we learned in episode 17, I think it was. But then I guess that left two time spheres back in present day, which I would, I guess, lead to two more in the future, or at least there being two in the future. One of which Eobard would use to get back. Um, once again, the flash is sort of hurting my brain and, the, and like the logic side of it. But I'm guessing that is the explanation behind Eobard using another time sphere. And for those wondering why Eobard simply wouldn't just travel back through time like Barry and Nori did, and, and like Eobard would have done as well previously, the reason for that will most likely be a lack of normal or positive speed force for his negative speed force to feed off and, well, power his abilities. So once he is back in present day with Barry as well as Nora, Eobard should be, you know, powerful. But in the future, just after he escapes, he will have his powers sort of and be able to, you know, pwn some noobs with them, but most likely not enough power to travel back in time by himself. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how all of that goes down, but it will be interesting to see how all of that unfolds and whether they explain not only how Eobard got locked up, but also who did it, because Eobard uh, was uh, locked in prison after Barry disappeared, I think like 10 years after Barry disappeared. Now, we do get the showdown between Barry and Reverse Flash in these primary images with Barry looking pretty triggered and Eobard looking his usual smug self. Now, Eobard would be absolutely loving this. Barry did give Eobard a pretty big L when he visited him, uh, visited him sorry, at the end of the Godspeed episode, and even Eobard like, accepted that L. But now, all Eobard is seeing is Ws. Way too many Ws for Eobard to count. Now, the promo image from this lot that a lot of people are talking about is this one here of Iris like bawling out tears while Barry himself looks pretty damn upset as well. And this would most likely point to, you know, Nora dying or starting to die or something like that. And going at this, you would have to think, you know, that's the case. And here is that spoiler warning. So stop watching if you don't want to hear this stuff. Spoiler warning. Let's go. So when they were filming this episode, there is a part where Nora's hands start to like vibrate or something like that, or also they might have been fading. So she is, you know, starting to fade from existence, possibly. And this is all going on while Barry and Reverse Flash are in this confrontation you see on screen right now. Now, Nora does go up to Reverse Flash before this. She has, like, sort of a confrontation with him, but then walks away with that issue before Barry goes up. So, is Nora dying in the scene? 
And the answer is, well, maybe. However, there was a scene filmed for the finale. I don't know where the placement of the scene is, but there was a scene filmed for this finale, which could possibly be the final scene or one of the final scenes of the season, I don't know, which did involve Barry and Iris together in 2049 saying goodbye to someone. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that someone is Nora that they are saying goodbye to, but who else could it be? It ain't Eobard, it wouldn't be Cicada. So maybe this scene with Nora fading is a fake out. Maybe she does what she did last episode where she vibrated fast enough to be invisible to throw uh, Eobard off in this scene. I mean, Nora has messed up with the timeline enough, so it would seem sort of fitting that she erases herself, but it seems like that won't be the case and they might give the West Allen family a bit of a happy ending. But I guess that's for us to, you know, wait and find out, but let me know what you think of that in the comments. And also the monitor, he's going to be in the Arrow and Supergirl finales, but will he be in the Flash finale as well? Well, there was an Instagram post by Real World of Flash where he, you know, talked about it because everyone's been asking or wondering about it. And LaMonica Garrett, who plays the monitor, did put like a weird response, which made me think like, or oh, it just gave away that he might be in the finale, but he might just be trolling and just joking around. Who knows? If he's in Arrow and Supergirl, you would maybe think he's in Flash, but then Reverse Flash might fill that role to sort of tease Crisis. I have to wait and see, but don't be surprised if the monitor shows up because we know he's in both Arrow, Supergirl, and who knows? He could randomly be in Legends. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over in this video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.